player to a million bucks and his partner, Beef Bullion. As a team, they got off to a very good start, a third in Phoenix, stumbled a little bit last week, and now you see one half of the surprising team of the week. He's part of the 11th seeded team of Canyon Seaman, who you're seeing right there in the tag top, and his teammate, Dane Blanton, out of Laguna Beach and Pepperdine University. Two outstanding collegiate stars, Canyon Seaman, Dane Blanton, got together last week in Singer Island. They beat Bullion and Stoklos there, and now we're set for the rematch. This to move into the finals. Semi-final action here from Fort Myers. The fifth-seeded team of Bullion Stoklos against the 11th seed of Canyon Seaman and Dane Blanton. Bullion to start things out. Going to Canyon Seaman, one of the heaviest hitters on the beach. Paul Sunderland joining you courtside, so to speak. We're up in our perch, of course, with Tim Hovland. And a pretty good day for beach volleyball. A little bit warm, a little bit muggy, but that's why they call it Florida. It's a lot worse down here, Paul. It's about 80 degrees. Not too humid and not, not too much wind. Good playing, good playing condition. And so close and bullion. I bring that up early because they lost in the quarterfinals to uh, Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. So they have played a number of matches here Sunday morning in this double elimination format. We'll detail that for you in just a moment. Once again, Canyon Seaman over the top. Stoke close is there. Stoke, Randy Heavy, he down the line. So much for Randy Stoke, the slightest bit fatigue. Stokey is the most experienced player on the court right now, Paul. It's very important for Seaman and Blanton to get off to a good start so they get their confidence, get back their surfs and balls, and side out. One thing for a young team to get to this point, it's another to close it out. And I want to hear from you about you know, some of your first opportunities. When you got into this situation, when you were 22, 23 years old, what was it like to get into Canyon Seaman's head? you, you got to play the same way you played all weekend, Paul. They've been bombing the jumps. They've been hitting hard across court. Just because it's the finals of the losers, don't, play, don't change your game. Right. Come out here and be the physical stuff you've been all weekend long. Good. And Canyon Seaman and Dane Blanton are very and physical, on. but so are Bullion and Stoklos. Bill Bullion, all now right. 30 years of age, his only win last year with Brian Lewis in Belmar Beach, New Jersey. Talking about hot conditions, that place can be an absolute oh, roaster. Boy. He was telling me earlier, he and Stoklos finished third in Phoenix, and then Bullion hurt himself, hurt his back a little bit, and tried to favor that. Complicated matters by hurting his back, and, and he thought that was a big reason for his problems last week, but feeling oh, very oh, good. Oh, 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 Dane Blanton, bombing oh, on the left side. Dane Blanton. A very interesting story. Grew up in Laguna Beach, was telling me he used to sleep on Main Beach when he was growing up. <laughs> the most prominent black athlete on the AVP Tour and, and considers that a very interesting position for him to be in personally. More on that later as well. Stokey bombing. You got a block against Randy no Stokelos if you want to slow him down. Way too good a pass, way too good a set. Randy's turn to serve. Laos out to win 1994. That's a long time, Paul. That's an eternity for a player like Randy Stokes. Oh, yeah. He's playing real good this weekend, though, Paul. Started out the season, of course, with Adam Johnson last year, and then the breakup with A.J. going to the Brazilian, Jose Loyola. They've had so much success. Canyon Seaman with the big heavy heat to start things out, and then the nice roller across the top of the block. One of the great college players at Stanford University, many times an All-American, was a setter there at 6'4", 6'5". Very strong, very physical. He took a second last year with Jeff Rogers in Dallas. Only 23 years old, Paul. He's got a lot to learn, but he's he's coming to the coming to the point where he could win an Open. He got second last year, and he says he's very confident this year. They've been training in the offseason together down on State Beach against Kent, Kent and Karch. So uh, I give him a shot at this. Talked to Dane Blanton. He said, look, Canyon and I are on the same page. We like to train. We right. like to work hard. We're yeah, both about the same point. age. And Nice tool off the block by Bill Bullion. We stay together. This, stay together. this is only their second week together. And uh, they feel very positive zero. about their chances and obviously paid off. Blend come to the left side is a switch for him. He was playing right side for the last few years, but he's hitting that cross-court ball real well, adapting to the left side, and Canyon is a natural right side hitter. So they, they're meshing pretty good. The tough thing is for Blend to side out. He's been siding out all weekend. <laughs> Want to see Blanton set the ball very often with his hands. Dig by Bullion. Oh, Stoke yeah. through the block. Oh, go through the block. Stoke close and Bullion take Bring the 2 nothing lead. Two. Nice defensive play. He's got to get up and hit that ball a bit. The catch shot's not going down. This, the turf out here is very hard, Paul. you got to hit that ball harder because it, you can run on this on this turf and you can get the ball up on the sand. 
It's not. It's like turf because it's so hard. Well, we're playing in a parking lot. <laughs> That's right. Quite re uh, realistically, in downtown Fort Myers Beach, and this is what we call a jumper's beach and a fast track. That ball set very tight. Dane Blanton using the Luigi to get the side out inside of Stoklo. Great adjustment by Blanton. Blanton was telling me he used to follow his brother down to the beach, Kurt. And that's where he picked up the game. He used to go down there and hang out. This is a great place to practice. Up to the start hanging out. Now he's hitting towards the finals. Played both basketball and volleyball at Laguna Beach High School. Had his choices to play one sport or the other. Went on to Pepperdine University and won a national championship in 92. Looking to get on the board. Blanton cranking from the left. Misses out of bounds, it just wide. Maybe ran under the ball a little bit. Big opportunity there. Kane has got some of the sweetest hands on the beach. But I think Dan came in a little quick. Still getting used to that left side. He put it a little bit out. Maybe a case of nerves early. It's a very difficult no doubt. situation. Yeah. This is not just another match for Seaman and Blanton. Oh, look at this. Just giving one away. A little miscommunication again. Only their right, second their week third, together. Canyon the Seaman called the ball early. He did the right goal, thing. Goal, They're so both a little nervous, Paul. They got to calm down. I take a little sand time out here. Talk to each other. Calm it down. You don't want to go down 5-0. You want to get to, if you get two points here, calm the thing down and, and, and get, get on track. And Stokelo serving very, very hard off this fast track. Good ball set. Stokey playing some defense. And Seaman, nice play by Bullion. And cannot get it. Oh, put your hands together. So close and Bullion is playing good defense. Great defense. What a stab by Bullion. Good effort, ending in a side out. Big cross court. Watch this stab up in there. Almost comes back over Blanton's cheek. And no, comes back on his side. But what a great up. You know, big guys aren't as quick as some of the little scamperers down on the beach like a Brian Lewis or someone like that in Adam Jones. And that's supposed to be, they say. Well, so they say. You were obviously as quick There's as an exception. You were quick. They, I was you quick. You were quick. Heck yeah, I'm still quick. Once in a while. <laughs> Just the intervals in between are a little <laughs> Not bit as longer. quick as often. Canyon right, Seaman right, looking right, to get on the board. No one, no one. Bullion, good trouble shot, Stokelo, and Stokey talking to him loud Bullion. and hard. Some, sometimes Canyon overthinks. He should have just stuck his, ball, his arm out and got this ball. Bullion in trouble right there. Stokey bringing the ball back. But you have it set up your defense right here, and you got to get this ball up. Canyon takes a look at it, hopes it out, but it goes in. I'll tell you, earlier in the tournament, Seaman and Blanton turn on that play oh, yes. right away. They're just not flowing, just not moving here. Like we said at the start, you, you can't be nervous out there. You're just playing another game at State or another game at Marine Street, and you got to show who's the best. Saying it and doing it. Two all together different things. And still close. And Bullion, very experienced. Nice hit by Canyon Seaman. They know it. If they can break Seaman and Blanton early, they got to figure they have this game won. stokey has got the experience out here. He knows to get them down, get them under your thumb, they're going to crack. To give them the least bit of confidence, they're going to come back, anything can happen. It's like Michael Cooper shooting a three-point shot with nobody on him. Money. Money in the bank, baby. Well, like you blocking against me. Oh. <laughs> Don't That's hit that. money with interest. <laughs> Don't hit that cross for a ball. <laughs> Service error by Canyon Seaman and Dane Blanton. They trail. This is our semifinal action. The fifth-seeded team of Randy Stoklos and Bill Bullion out to the early 3-0 lead. Tight set, Bullion into the net. Right here, and the hustle pays off. Hustle play by the surprise team of the week, Seaman and Blanton. Dave Help Blanton them scale up it another it point on the board. Watch this hustle play by Blanton. He knows where the out of bounds is. He's going for it anyway. Doesn't care. Sacrifices his body. Brings the ball back. And then gets a lucky break with boy on nets. Big play, Paul. Big that, play. That could loosen him up, wake him up. Oh, Indeed hey. it does. Big, Big plays back to back. Canyon Seaman with the point, ace. The they now trail 3-1. It just takes the pressure off you. Turn, on, turn something like that over, get a little break, and uh, you get your confidence back. Canyon's got a heavy arm, too. That heavy serve he's been serving all weekend. I've been hearing it in the, in the, in the tent. Ace is all over the place this weekend. You got to be able to serve if you want to score out here. It seems now, particularly on a fast track like this. It's a whole new game now, Paul. There's having so many more aces in uh, in the difficulty in passing. The ball's traveling so fast. Good. 
Canyon Seaman going back to Bullion. Tight pass. There is point number two. We'll take our side change. Of course, waiting in the wings. No surprise. Hearts be awry. And Kent Steffes. Who will it be? Dave Land Canyon Seaman. Or Stokey and Beach. Semi-final act. More in a minute. All right, people. We're going to need a little bit of your help. Semi-final, our third regular season event. I say regular season because we're outdoors. We've had some surprises. Talk to me about the team of Dane Blanton and Canyon Seaman getting all the way to the finals of the winners. All the way to the finals by serving the ball tough, by siding out, and, and just believing in themselves. Like in the finals, losers now, they got to believe in themselves and let their uh, ability take more they can go. And the lucky winner, of course, gets to play, Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. Who will it be? We don't know. We know someone who's got an idea, and he's standing right now with our Mara Driscoll. Mara? Dane Blanton, you guys are having a tremendous tournament so far this weekend. You're in the semifinals, playing the big names of the sport. What do you feel about this today? Ah, uh, it's a long time coming, you know. I'm just trying to do my best, my best finish so far, and we're going to look to get in the finals here. This is personally um, your second year on the tour, so you guys are just pups compared to some of the people uh, yeah, here. What do you think? Big upset right here. What do you think you need to do? Big upset right here. Okay. You heard, you heard it here first. Back to you, Paul and Hobbs. Dane Blanton wants to get back to business. Thanks very much, Mara Driscoll. Had a long visit with Dane Blanton. Of course, he's been out on tour for a couple of years, and very interesting. Again, his role as the most prominent young black athlete on tour. There you see Randy Stokos, 122 events to his credit. And Dane Blanton says, look, i got to start winning tournaments. Everybody says, you know, I, I want to be, you know, a, a leader in my role as the top black athlete on tour. But people will really take notice if I start winning. No, no doubt about it. He's first he's got to get the final, so he knows the road there. Then he can go back and back. You get thirds and fourths and fifths, it's not like getting to the final. Right. You know, you're going to win half the time you're in the finals. It's tough to win, to win an opening day. Just get to the finals and be a big accomplishment. Well, they've had a fabulous tournament, and he, we were talking about it just as he left to go warm up, and I said, you know, it's a little hard to avoid being satisfied, isn't it? You know, already exactly. guaranteed a third, but you got to push it even farther. Still close and bullion, out to the 3-0 lead early. 3-2 side change, now Canyon and Seaman, the unforced air, time. hitting the ball out of bounds from the right side. Yes, down. That's three unforced arrows already by Blanton. And they've had a couple of point scoring opportunities that have gone by the board as well. You won't see Dane Blanton set the ball very often. With his hands. However, as you said, Canyon Seaman has got some great paws, an All-American setter out of Stanford University. He passes the ball real well, too, Paul. He passes it low to the net. You can pass that ball, and you can, and you can bump that ball real easy. Going to Stoklo. and Bullion have had the longer route. They lost last evening to Kirai and Steffes 15-8. Then they played Hydrant Fenoy Moana, Cardenas and Papaleo. They beat Dodd and Whitmarsh. They crushed Johnson and Loyola oh, in the match for fourth, fourth place. So this is their fifth match of the day. And uh, it is not 100 degrees on the court, but it's about 90 and the humidity on the rise. So Stoklos and Bullion have earned their money today, no doubt about that. Served long by Dane Blanton. Working the way the losers the third week. They're in pretty good shape right now, Paul. They were here last week, and they're used to the humidity. I mean, we played a lot hotter down here. So I think uh, they might be a little tired, but they're ready to play. And Randy Stoklos looks really good to me. He does. Oftentimes plays in a tank top, but trust me, he is looking very buffed right now. Been working out hard in the offseason. Hang on. Canyon Seaman hard off the top of the block. You That's played with Canyon Seaman. Canyon Seaman. What was he like when you got him as an early pup as opposed to when you got him four or five tournaments later? He's very green. He's very green on and off the court. But he's got, watch this arm swing he's got. Boom. That's like a home run hit Reggie Jackson style. He brings the heat, I'll tell you that. And his, his best skill when you were playing with him? His best skill, setting, not giving up. We were down a few times, 12, 6. I said, just calm down a bit. I swear I won't make any more mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> keep your key. Keep the calm. We'll come back and win. We'll come back and win 15, 13. That's how you have to think. Hang on. And hey. putting a lot of serves on Canyon Seaman. Now, Seaman's the stronger the hitter, so why are they serving him? Well, that's because Game he's also the stronger up. setter. I, I'd say they're both even hitters. Three, three, and uh, they think they're serving from that right side where the, the wind is a little bit that way, you know, nothing drastic, but they want him to have Blanton set. There you saw Canyon Seaman's best Fight. ever finish. Yeah. And over the defense. Yeah. Dane Blanton quick and 
right on the spot against Bullion and Stokely. Life is good. It is a tie game. Good set. Stokely comes with some heat. Glenn stays in right over the net. Nobody gets that ball. Now, you know, you have the impression that Bullion and Stoklos are a lot bigger than Blanton and Seaman. Not necessarily the case. Tired looking pass, maybe by Stoklos. Chance for five. Yeah. Seaman. Seaman. The ball Seaman the ball. That's that's another point. Out, taking the lead. Bad bad the ball. Ball. Ken Denorn is tanked up a little high. But he comes back. Listen to this. Boom. He's got a he's got an atomic arm, Paul. Well, he is big and big. lifted a lot of weights bat. over the last Too four or five years since he left Miracosta High School. And of course, all season long, the players are playing for hundreds of thousands of dollars virtually each and every weekend. And at the end, what do they have waiting for them? A million-dollar bonus, the million, one million-dollar Miller Lite Cup. Current standings: Karch Kirai on top, Jose Loyola. They are the best of the best so far in this early season, as we add up the points throughout the course of the year. Sinjin Smith, Randy Stoklos have won in the past. Kent Steffes, Karch Kirai won last year. To the winner, $125,000 on top of all the other prize money. We talked about it last week. That's an awfully nice check to get at the end of the year. That is a great check. Even if you're not the top, you walk, walk away with forty dollars or $50,000. The next couple months off, uh, you feel pretty good about yourself. Motivate you to get back to the gym. There you saw a little bit about Dane Blanton's collegiate career. Played for Marv Dunphy. The 88 Olympic team coach, of course, uh, won a gold medal there, played for Marv at Pepperdine, won a national Good. championship, and never said there was any doubt that he wanted to focus his career afterwards on the beach near dig by Dane Blanton. He's always been a hard worker, but they're both hard workers. They said to go down, you know, and called and said, he's always ready to go out and do it. He called me a couple of times and said, oh, I don't think so. I'm going to calm down a little bit. <laughs> he's 23 and 24, they're ready to go. Right. Well, and the stakes are so high right now. Yes. Last year, of course, Karch Kirai, the leading money winner, over $400,000. I mean, that would get me out of bed in the morning. No doubt. And you got to get up before the before other people do, Paul, because they're working out 12 months a year, seven days a week now. Not like before, you work out six, seven months. That was fine. Keeping the ball on, still close. Oh! Through the block of Dane Blanton down. Semi-final action coming to you from Fort Myers Beach, Florida. Bullion and Stoklos got out to the 3-0 lead. Then Blanton and Seaman came back. 3-2 side change. And then Blanton and Seaman have continued to take advantage of some unforced errors. They now lead 5-4. Have outscored Stoklos and Bullion 5-1 in this latest run. Siding out pretty well. Bill Bullion going at Canyon Seaman. And nice cut shot, Bullion breaking the other way. Seaman with a good kill from the right side. Seaman's received 13 balls so far, Paul, to Blanton's five, and he's siding out pretty well. Started off a little rocky, but came back, and he settled down, getting a good groove. Canyon Seaman and Dane Blanton, two of the players, everybody's sort of been saying, when and where? The 26th fifth seed, Daniel Cardenas out of Cuba, and Raul Papaleo out of Puerto Rico. They beat Tanner and Welch. They beat Hanson and Young before losing to Adam. Get a point. In this situation, do we find out if Seaman and Blanton are ready to move up? The door is open. Just walk through. Just walk through. Who's going to make a play? Canyon Seaman to serve. Up by one, 13-12. It just eight. misses the jump serve. We're under 30 seconds left. Semi-final action here from Fort Myers. Paul Sunderland with Tim Hoffman. Bill Bullion and his partner Randy Stoko struggled to a ninth last week. Bullion was hurt. Had a bad back, an injured knee. Could not play particularly well. Clearly we're not 100%. Looking to get into the finals here. Bullion going to Seaman. Five. Good call by Dane Blanton over the top. Clearly called it down. down. Nice pass. Out that nice set. side out. They got to get off this 13, 13 though. Up by one, 24.1 seconds left. Dane Blanton, second year pro, trying to make his first final. Going to Stokely. Standing up time, putting the ball down, either hard cross court or hard middle. Good shot. 
Randy Stoklos talking to his partner. Keeping it on Canyon Seaman. Canyon showing no fear. That ball was set a little close. Canyon, well, Canyon Seaman and Dane Blanton beat Dodd and Whitmark. They lost to Kirai and Steffens. And they find themselves now 12 seconds away from their first final again. Seaman with the two. Oh, Smart play. Running some time. It's over. 